Hey what's up it's Hugo here, today I'm going to show you how to get a lock screen on your Mac. So I think I'm pretty much like you guys on this one. Uh, the first time I saw this I thought this has got to be totally useless but uh, once I actually downloaded the app it's really cool and practical as well, it's uh, quite uh, secure. Uh, so let me first show you how it looks here, I'm going to lock my iMac and as you can see it looks pretty similar to uh, to a standard iOS device. You got your lock screen, you got your time, your date and obviously the slider to unlock and uh, behind all that you got a cool little background that you can change yourself. So uh, let me get to you in to the preferences of this app um, since that's where it's actually getting interesting. Now in the generals tab you got a few generals options obviously uh, such as open that login which you definitely want to enable if you're going to use this a lot. And the second cool feature you have here is auto lock so that's automatically going to lock your Mac uh, as soon as you have a certain amount of inactivity so you can set that how much time you want. Uh, the second tab, the appearance tab, uh, you can set obviously as I mentioned before the uh, the background bef uh, behind the lock screen. And the second option is uh, to enable sound effects. Now sound effects are not uh, default, are not programmed by default, although if you click on the little get more sounds button you'll be directed to a page uh, on your browser and you can download the original iPhone uh, lock and unlock sounds and then you can apply them on your app. That's really cool, once you apply those you got those cool little effects. I really like that. Uh, unfortunately, you do have to uh, download them and stuff like that. It takes like two minutes, but that, that's alright. Uh, next to that, you got a few standard options, 24 hour time, that obviously depends uh, where you live. And last option here is custom lock text. Now, that's pretty cool. You can select the text that shows behind the slider. So where it should say slide to unlock, you can pretty much choose whatever you want uh, to appear there. So I've chosen welcome here. The third tab, the security tab, is where it's actually getting uh, practical. You can set a pass pattern, what they call, and uh, what it is, um, is kind of the slide to unlock feature, except it's on your keyboard, because obviously your Mac ain't touch screen, so you can't uh, slide to unlock, but what you can do is slide certain a keystroke on um, your Mac keyboard, and then it unlocks uh, your Mac. So it's pretty cool, I've chosen to go from the letter T to the letter P, and uh, you pretty much slide your finger over there uh, on your keyboard and then it just unlocks your your Mac and uh, that's pretty cool and uh, here it is I'm gonna use those keys now and you'll see that it will unlock the Mac for me so that's pretty cool you can get this app for two dollars on the Mac App Store it's called Lock Screen 2 by iDevelop and uh, I thought it was pretty cool it's pretty secure you can't force quit the app while it's locked you can't quit the app while it's locked so it's pretty secure i'll thank you a lot for watching be sure to leave me some comments what you think about this application i thought it was pretty cool eventually uh, i didn't have any high expectations for this one but uh that's why i made a, a quick video about it i thank you a lot for watching my video be sure to uh subscribe if you haven't already and like my video that's always highly appreciated and once again i'll thank you a lot for watching i'll see you guys later peace